Alrighty guys, today we're going to bring you a video of the 116th Summit VXL. It was like ice kind of, so I wanted to see how we could uh, how we drive on it. I brought my brushless monster mud out, and it didn't run too great because it's real dry, tool dry. So this thing's definitely running pretty good. Uh, we have a different body on it, of course you can tell. That's from Pro Line, I believe. Yeah, I bought it like that long, so. It's running on two stock batteries. Uh, 2.2 volts. Or whatever. Um, running on two of them. I actually have four batteries, but we lost one of them, so that's great. I basically know a lot about RCs now, but one thing I don't know too much about actually, honestly, is the batteries. They got light bows out and all that kind of stuff. I just got two stock or stock batteries for both cars, and then I got a Nitro Red Cab Vortex. So I don't pay. Uh, I haven't ran the Vortex too much though, because. My buddy told me it says it's waterproof, but he said he messed his up driving it through a little bit of snow. Just a little bit of it. And plus I broke a full starter on it. So. I wanted to give you guys a video on that thing too. Uh, I don't run them in this yard very often. This is a small yard. I just wanted to make a little video for you guys to I don't know, just upload to YouTube. Right? I don't know if I got any videos of just them on there yet. I have for them to see you know. It's a pretty good truck, though. I like it. Uh, I took it on one trail. It was a quad trail or something like in the woods. It ran pretty good. Uh, I climbed up a nice steep hill. And, uh, you know, it went up better than I thought it would for how small it is. I was running my own battery, too. I think there's something wrong with our uh, clutch on here, actually, slipper clutch. I think it needs tightened up or something's wrong with it. There's the uh, back wheels I want to move as much. I was telling my, my buddy noticed it when we were driving and he said, them back wheels ain't moving as much as the front wheels. And I don't know if it's supposed to do that or not. Like they weren't even moving at all. But it seems like it's been running better for some reason. Good job, Johnny.
have to right now. taping on my iPod right now and uh, there's I know there's people that can do it they can actually drive while taping really good and I tried it and I can't do it worth crap so I just stuck it on a bucket against a camera now the reason I ain't got the camera on is because I don't have an SD card for it and I all my videos are actually on my iPod except for like some car show ones from Ocean City so uh, I'm gonna work on getting an SD card Dang, I don't think they're too much. I have to pick one up. I might try something. I don't know, Velcroing it or something. I don't know. They were saying something about it. I heard Velcroing it to the uh, top of your car. But I'm driving it easier. The camera's all in order for Peter, so I get screwed up. Uh oh. Well, since we flipped, guys, I'm just going to end it now. I don't want to make too long of a video. Anyways, geez, I get an order for the camera. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, have a great day.